LA reporter Catherine Eisman joins us. Catherine, great to have you with us. Now, we all remember um, a few years ago now when all of a sudden the cast of Friends decided they were worth a lot more money and held the producers to ransom. The same thing is happening with the cast of Modern Family. You're absolutely right. Well, they say in showbiz, the family that negotiates their deals together stays together, and that's definitely the case for Modern Family. They've just finished filming their third season, hugely popular, the most popular rating comedy on television right now since Friends and Will and & Grace, and they are asking for a lot more money, and they are forming alliances to do so. They're currently earning $65,000 an episode, mm -hmm. and they are rumoured to be wanting $200,000 per episode plus a huge huge back-end deal, which means that they make money forever. Now, I would imagine, because to me that sounds quite reasonable, the, the key difference, I suppose, between Modern Family and Friends is that there was a much smaller number of Friends, whereas you have to divvy that up amongst many more people with Modern Family, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. The minute you start doing that, you, you know, that's more money out of the kitty. You look at someone like, for example, um, uh, Charlie Sheen, he was earning close to $2 million per episode, but it was just him. Yeah. You know, but Modern Family has a great precedent. The Women and Desperate Housewives in their last season earned $400,000 per episode each, and there are quite a few of them as well. These guys are really going to do it. The only person that's not entering the alliance is Ed O'Neill, who, of course, we love from Married with Children, because yep, he went into the deal with so much more money, of over $100,000, because he was, like, the big star at the time, um, even though he's been overlooked for Emmy nominations. So he really is not joining the alliance, but the yep. other ones, if they stick together, they're going to make it happen. Yep, I'm sure they will. Um, and the interesting thing, as you say, he, he's the only one that, didn't, didn't, that wasn't nominated, which is extraordinary, uh, because I think he's one of the best. All right, eye nap. <laughs> now, I am not into the, uh, into the sort of eye world of uh, interweb stuff, <gasps> but this is fantastic. If you're the sort of person that shirks at work, this is what you need, isn't it? It's true. This is for the George Costanzas of the world. It's this fantastic app that I fell in love with. It's big over here now, and I can see it coming to Australia and being big there. Basically, if you want to sleep on the job, it's Friday, we don't want to go into work. If you want to get that kind of power nap, what you do is you um, get this app, it's free, and you set it to different noises, and it simulates them. So it could be typing, like you're hearing. It could be scrunching paper. It could be sharpening pencils, blowing your nose. You can even set an alarm so that you kind of awoken up after 10, 20 or 30 minutes. I love it. And it sounds like you're really busy. Um, it's absurd and I'm not saying you won't be fired if you use this so I don't want any lawsuits well, coming no, you at won't, me. You won't be fired because you won't be seen. You'll be, behind, you'll be in your little cubicle. Um, <laughs> Andrew's got, got it up cubicle. on his iPad now. I've downloaded it here and I'm just I'm filling around with it. It's, this is amazing that, uh, that people actually think this could work. What are the options there? Well, you can you blow your nose, you've got the staple thing there, you've got the keyboard. We can so you could say to it, I want to blow my nose twice every minute and you probably Program that in. Well, yeah, I've just got. It's, I'm going to scrub some paper. Isn't it? Fat? This is me typing right now. I've never been more productive in my life. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's That's so just, funny. That is and brilliant. you know, I. I feel like, why not, right? You know, you've got to have a bit of a laugh. But, yes, you may lose your job if someone looks over your cubicle and sees that the typing is not really happening from your fingers. No, no, <laughs> I did, no one looks over cubicles because they're all asleep. Um, and finally, Fifty Shades of Grey. This is a fantastic yarn because it, you imagine, if you're an author, you imagine your wildest dreams that the big studios will fight over the rights to turn your words into a movie, and that's exactly what's happened with Fifty Shades of Grey. It's so true. I mean, people are calling it mummy porn because it's this really sensational s and kind of sexually written, explicit uh, romance-style book. And it wasn't even published in traditional media. It was an e-book series that reached number three, four and five on Amazon.com. It was so big that there was this incredibly heated debate amongst the different film studios to acquire the rights to this series, kind of like an R-rated Twilight series, if you will. And uh, um, Universal Pictures paid $5 million to secure the rights to this book, which is fantastic. But it was so hot in Hollywood that Ari Emanuel, which is kind of the legendary uh, agent that uh, Jeremy Piven's character in Entourage was based on, he was told to be expecting a call from President Obama himself, because his brothers, you know, was used to be chief of staff at the White House. And rather than sit and wait by his desk like you're meant to, he went and snuck to West Hollywood uh, to a place called Soho House and took a meeting with the author and her agent trying to nab the rights. You're not even 
even allowed to use your phone at Soho House. And so he had to explain, look, it's a really important call. Can you please let me do it? Once Obama waited, he finally had a long chat about this erotic, erotic series. And Obama apparently revealed that Michelle Obama, the first lady, is a fan of the series. So, you know, some friends in high that. places. Yeah, I, I just wouldn't admit to that. Hey, Catherine, thank you so much for that. Have a wonderful day in thank the you. big... Smoke. I almost said big apple, but it's not. You're in the big smoke, True. aren't you? You're it's in LA. The big smoke. There's a Take lot of care. smoke, and yeah. people eat apples. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great weekend too. See you.